My cancer journey started in 1989. I'm someone who always cared about her health, learned that from my mother. And so at 35, my medical doctor suggested I get a baseline because back then the baseline was done at 35. And I thought that would be so much fun. Why not? Let's do it. So um, after several different tests and a biopsy and everything, the surgeon had to tell me that I had breast cancer, and they all were shocked because they thought it was just calcium deposits. And then 23 years later, in 2012, almost the same thing began again. I went for my annual mammogram, and again I was called back and everything else like that. So being a praying person, I'd pray that the results would be different, and, but it was not. And again, I was diagnosed with breast cancer, this time still DCIS was a ductal carcinoma in situ. Uh, again, small but more sites this time. And because I, same side, and because I had radiation the first time, I couldn't have radiation again, so I was faced with having my breast removed, which is a little bit traumatic. So I chose to have a, a mastectomy with an immediate reconstruction. That's been my physical journey and it's been a life changer. In my, with my first diagnosis, I was able to tap into American Cancer Society had this program where survivors could talk to you. So I was able to talk to someone who had breast cancer. So when I felt like I was at a better place, I made my name available to American Society in order for anyone to call me to talk about the breast cancer experience. So that was my initial way um, to give back. This time around, I actually got involved with a cancer support group sponsored by Cancer Connection in Northampton. Um, whereas the first time around, I did everything myself. This time I wanted to be part of a group. I saw that as being, as being the tool of me being well, not just physically well, but also emotionally well, to have that kind of support. And as part of Cancer Connection, I um, chaired their team for Rays of Hope, which is an annual walk uh, run by Rays of Hope. And uh, we rallied, we had a goal and we raised it. And that was exciting. Wherever I go, you'll probably see me with my pin, my breast cancer pin. Um, I wear pink more now than I ever have before. <laughs> um, because I say I am part of this huge family. It's a breast cancer family, but I'm also part of this huge cancer family. And whatever role I can play to use my story to reach others, that's what I want to do. I think about what people have offered me and what that has meant to me to be able to walk that journey, whether it was the first time or the second time. And I think about how I can be available to others to help them walk their journey so you don't feel as if they're alone. One of the things I remember someone saying to me is, when you're not doing well, you need to be here. When you are doing well, you need to be here for somebody else. Because when I'm having good days, I will still go to the support group because there might be somebody else there for the first time who has just had the shocking news and is trying to figure out how to go through it. So I feel very helpful to someone that I can help them navigate or understand what they might be facing or understand what I've gone through, the goods and the bads, help them understand how they navigate their, their job or their family. That's what I get is helping them to, to navigate that and navigate a little bit easier for themselves and maybe it was for me because I'm at that table and some of, some of us others are at that table helping them do that.